In Ukraine, as night falls, the danger of airstrikes increases. For over a year now, Russia has been launching most of its large-scale air raids at night. To try to counter them, local NGOs contribute to the protection effort. In this military base, civil organization Urkit and Air Defense test new searchlights funded with donations. These searchlights are important because last October a new threat appeared, the kamikaze Sahid drones. They started to attack Ukrainian cities and one solution appeared, using light to help with our air defences. Those drones are also detected by radar, but we have a better chance of shooting them down with a spotlight on them. Since the beginning of the year, seven searchlights have been given by Urki to various brigades, a precious help acknowledged by the military. The searchlight does not light up all the time, only when there's a target. It is more effective to use a searchlight because the target can be seen by an entire group of soldiers. Without a searchlight, we would need to provide everyone with night vision equipment, so it is cheaper to use a light. Those searchlights are essential to try and counter the numerous airstrikes that Russia has been launching against Ukraine over the past few weeks. We've seen Russia sending missiles from the air, from the sea, from land as well, as well as uh, kamikaze drones and civilians drones that have been targeting mostly the capital Kyiv, but not only. On the night of the tests, several air red alerts sounded over the Ukrainian sky. Urkid's searchlights are more than welcome after Ukraine had to counter no less than 11 large-scale aerial attacks in the last two weeks.